The family of a Dallas middle school student who was hit and killed on his way to school is calling for safety changes. Good evening, I'm Clarice Tinsley. They want justice for the reckless behavior that killed Jonathan Ayala, and they want more protection for students walking to school. Fox 4's Lori Brown is live in Dallas. Lori. Clarice, in this unusual case, it is the passenger and not the driver facing a murder charge. And today we learn that the passenger has been in trouble with the law before. One day he wanted to be a football player. Next, next month he wanted to be a boxer. Next month he wanted to play soccer. Next month, you know, well, who knows what else he wanted to do. Elias Ayala never imagined a brief conversation Friday morning with his little brother would be his last. Jonathan Ayala had just turned 14 years old. I was out of town for his birthday. I told him that we were, I even told my mom that we was going to take him out on Saturday. Dallas police say at 757 in the morning, a driver lost control on South Marcellus Avenue at East Ledbetter Drive. According to an arrest affidavit, James Grant, a passenger, demanded money from the driver, attempted to reach into her purse and then hit her in the face. She lost control and hit and killed Jonathan. Elias Ayala also spoke for his mother, who speaks Spanish. Yeah, I think both of them should be charged because, I mean, if you're behind the wheel, you're responsible of being driving and always being aware of your surroundings. The driver stopped at the scene. The passenger ran away. Police found him at a nearby bus stop and charged him with murder. Jonathan's family hope his story can be a wake-up call to drivers and also the city. They say this section of Marcellus is dangerous for the many kids walking to and from school about a half mile away. There is no curb to protect pedestrians. See if they could do a sidewalk there or something so it could be safer for not just kids, you know, everybody. Grant had previous run-ins with the law. Public records show his charges include assault of a public servant and aggravated robbery. And he also had an active warrant out of Austin for possession of a controlled substance. A GoFundMe set up for Jonathan's funeral expenses has raised $13,000. You never get to say goodbye to a person or tell them how much you love them until it's too late. Proud Story Middle School is planning to have a community meeting Thursday at 4.30 p.m., followed by a balloon release.